Hello my friends, welcome back to Ita's Corner. In today's video, I will discuss February's 2024 Visa Bulletin for family-based categories plus the Diversity Visa Lottery. So keep on watching for more details. Now if this is your first time on this channel, please consider hit the subscribe button and be part of this channel today. And while you're doing that, turn on your notification bell so you never miss another video from me. To my new and returning subscribers, thank you for your continuous support. Now let's go ahead and get started. Before we start, let's go ahead and recap or look back at January 2024 Visa Bulletin for Family-Based Categories Filing Date. Looking at February's 2024 Visa Bulletin for Family-Based Categories, you can see that it's completely identical to January's 2024 Visa Bulletin for Family-Based Categories. So my friends, again, there were no movements, no further changes. But let's go ahead and review the priority. Dates. In the F1 visa category, we can see that for all chargeability areas except those listed, they are on September 1st, 2017, China, September 1st, 2017, India, September 1st, 2017, for Mexico, April 1st, 2005, and the Philippines, April 22nd, 2015. In the F2A visa category, this category is usually current, however, the priority date for all chargeability areas for China, India, Mexico, and the Philippines, they are on priority date September 1st, 2023. In the F2B visa category for all chargeability areas, including China and India, they are on priority date January 1st, 2017, Mexico, August 1st, 2004, and the Philippines, October 1st, 2013. In the F3 visa category, for all chargeability areas, including China and India, they are on priority date, March 1st, 2010, Mexico, January 15, 2001, the Philippines, November 8, 2003. And lastly, in the F4 visa category, for all chargeability areas, including China, they are on priority date March 1st, 2008, India, February 22nd, 2006, Mexico, April 15, 2001, and the Philippines, April 22nd, 2004. So there you have it, guys. This is the most current priority date for the visa bulletin um, filing dates from the base categories. Now, if your priority date is listed on this bulletin or earlier, you should have already gotten your welcome letter from the National Visa Center to your email. That welcome letter should have your case number and your reference number, which you will need to log into the site website to begin your immigrant visa application and submit your civil documents. If you have received your welcome letter and you try logging in into the site website and you still cannot proceed to complete your DS-260 immigrant visa application, that means a visa is not available to you as of yet. So you have to check back and make sure that you have the green light to go ahead and complete your immigrant visa application. If you are a spouse, parent, or child of a US citizen under 21 years of age, a visa is always available to you. So once your I-130 application is 
sent to the National Visa Center for Consular Processing and you have received your welcome letter, you shouldn't have any issues proceeding to your immigrant visa application. Now let's go ahead and take a look at February's 2024 Diversity Visa Lottery for DV 2024. Looking at February's 2024 Diversity Visa Lottery Bulletin, we can see that for Africa, they are on applicant number 26,500, except Algeria 26,000, Egypt 25,000, and Morocco 25,000. For Asia, they are on applicant number 5,500, except Iran 5,450, Nepal 4,500. For Europe, they are on applicant number 13,500, except Russia 13,250, and Uzbekistan 5,500. For North America, including the Bahamas, they are on applicant number 5. Oceania, they are on applicant number 875. And lastly, South America and the Caribbean, they are on applicant number 1600. So these are the applicant number for all the regions around the world. Now, the National Visa Center will not tell you that you've been selected to proceed with your immigrant visa application. So you will need to keep checking the website that I listed down below. KCC Kentucky Consular Center only accepts your DS-260 visa application and you will bring all your civil documents to the U.S. Embassy and they will make a decision on your case once an interview is available to you. If you have any questions and you do not know what to do, go ahead and comment down below. I hope this video was beneficial to each one of you. Before I go, make sure that you subscribe, share this video, give it a thumbs up, and turn on your notification bell so you never miss another video from me. Thank you for watching Eater's Corner, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.